Well, you guys, it's the start of another ice fishing season, and uh, seeing how this year it seems like everybody's kind of running on uh, a little bit less money in their pocket, I decided that we were going to do a $100 ice fishing challenge, and to start this off, we headed to our local Canadian Tire store to see if we can make this happen. Now with ice fishing, you're going to need an ice auger. Uh, unfortunately, that is going to be your main expense uh, when you're doing this. Uh, fortunately for you guys, uh, at Canadian Tire, there is a brand called Rapala, and they typically have a really cheap 6 or 8 inch ice auger that you can get. Uh, you don't need one of the fancy gas powered ones that cost you a couple hundred dollars. Uh, these hand augers, uh, the regular price is always about $90. And if you pay attention, every once in a while, they come on sale for it's uh, $72. So for me, I'm not going to buy one, but we are going to include it in our price list today because I already have a hand auger and also have a power auger myself. Uh, the next thing that you're going to need is some fishing line. Uh, you know, when it comes to fishing line, when you go down that aisle, it can be very daunting uh, to say the least if you're if you're new to this uh, One thing that I have to mention with this uh, With this setup is that we're not going to be going after any major big fish or anything like that uh, We're going to be going to Ingle Lake and it's just a very small uh, Kind of a pond and it's stocked with rainbow trout and there the biggest one that you're gonna get is right around like two pounds so what we end up doing is we found just this roll of red wolf 10 pound test uh it's 600 yards of line and red wolf it is a bit of a cheaper brand it's not like a trialene or a suffix kind of a thing but it will get the job done and for 600 yards it was six dollars so it's one heck of a good bargain and you're going to be using this for a very very long time uh another thing with the lakes that we're going to be targeting is that they're not very deep so with this uh 600 yards we could take this out uh, i don't even know how many times a very 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 long time <laughs> but uh yeah so for six bucks we got our fishing line so once we got our fishing line uh it's time to go into the other aisle there and we're gonna check out what they have for hooks uh when you talk to a lot of guys, they're going to tell you all these hooks and setups that you need to have, whether it's uh, spoons, spinners, J-hooks, jigs, whatever. There is so many options. There's more options in hooks and bait than there is in the fishing line. So if you are if you're already getting confused with fishing line, just wait till you go down the fishing lure section. And honestly, you don't need anything fancy. And like I said, uh, we're just going after small little rainbows. So all we need is just small little J hooks. And again, uh, it's Red Wolf that we picked up. And what these ones are, it's a pack of six, uh, size eight bait holders. And with the bait holders on the actual shaft, of the hook there there's little barbs that come out so when you put your bait on there it holds it on a little bit better I uh, you know when you're first starting out you don't need any of the fancy rigging and even even these I still use these today uh, even uh, even though you know I, I can't afford the uh, the more expensive stuff but they work and they get the job done and with these ones they're two dollars uh, so for two dollars you're getting six hooks you can catch multiple fish on one hook and with these little things they're gonna last you a long time so now that we got all of our we have our ice auger we have our fishing line we have our hooks uh, what we're gonna be needing now is a couple of split shots and what a split shot is are just these little weights and they're called a split shot because they're a little lead weight and you just open them up kind of like a clamshell and you just pinch it onto your fishing line. Uh, with these, you don't need anything huge. This is a package of 20, it says size five. 
and these ones are two dollars for this little pack uh you know in my fishing box i have several different weights and sizes and stuff uh but that's just for other lakes and deeper spots and stuff that we fish but uh for a small little lake like inga uh this size five that's gonna be plenty for what you need and if anything if you need more weight just put more than one weight on uh you can put two three on there whatever it takes to get your line and your bait down hole to the bottom and then again red wolf you know they come through again with uh some cheap alternatives you don't need any of the huge name brand stuff uh there's a lot of people that will tell you that you do need it and really you don't i am a very very seasoned uh fisherman and really the only time when i start really spending the money is on some ocean fishing gear and that's because once in a while you do need some specialty stuff but for some of these smaller lakes uh, you don't need anything fancy whatsoever and then uh, with this setup that we're going to be using too you're also going to need a couple of bobbers and with bobbers now it seems to be they're getting more and more sophisticated but the traditional red and white clip-on bobbers again red wolf uh these will do you just fine uh you don't need the corkscrew ones you don't need an inline one just the regular old clip-on red and white bobber uh is perfectly fine you know uh, right now i think the big push is to get more people uh kind of spending more money on junk that they don't really need this is a extremely simplified version of what it is that you actually need to get out onto the lake and to start fishing. And now if you're wondering about an ice fishing rod, uh, we're not buying one. Uh, I can honestly say that uh, I never had an ice fishing rod until I was about 17 or 18 years old. Uh, what we've always used is just a free stick from the bush uh we just go out and you cut down uh, i don't know a one inch willow two inch whatever that's a foot or two long and we just take our our line we tie it to the stick a couple of granny knots or whatever you pull out how much line you need and with places like inga uh where we fish at at inga it's anywhere between six to maybe 12 feet at the deepest so for that you don't need a rod you don't need a reel and it really helps you out when you're first starting out uh just for expense wise because you can buy a rod and reel uh you can get the cheaper versions uh the little two-in-one kits from places like canadian tire walmart or cabela's and stuff and they run anywhere between like 20 to 80 dollars but uh right now in this day and age that 20 bucks can go a long ways on something else uh, especially when it's on something that you actually don't really need uh like i said i went 17 or 18 years without a nice fishing rod and i have pulled up thousands of fish uh from the water so uh yeah no ice fishing rod on this one but uh when we head out to the lake, I'll show you exactly how to set up your uh, quote unquote fishing rod from the bush. So now with everything all tallied up here, uh, the auger being $72, we're not gonna include that right now into the price. Uh, I'll just include what we have for sure right here. Uh, our fishing line was $6. Our size eight uh, fish hooks, they were $2. Split shots were $2, and our pack of bobbers were $1.50. So altogether, it's $11.50. Uh, with GST and PST, it was $12.83. Uh, if we would have bought the uh, ice auger on sale for $72, that with GST and PST is right around $81. So altogether, it would have cost us $94. Uh, and with that, we have a little bit of wiggle room here yet, 
for a little bit of bait. If you're in a part where you are allowed bait here in BC, uh, when you're ice fishing, you're allowed bait uh, in a lake as long as it's not a fin fish. So what we like to use is baby shrimp. Uh, for us, if we go into our local Safeway or Save On Foods, they usually have like a, uh, a seafood section and on the ice where they have like their kind of halibut fillets and salmon and mussels and stuff and beside like the lobster tank, there's usually a little dish of baby shrimp. Uh, a lot of times what you go in and it's so much per gram or kilogram or whatever, you can ask the guy behind the counter just to give you $2 worth of baby shrimp and honestly, that it's going to be enough. If they don't have that, they usually have the little containers of baby shrimp. And I'll buy one of those that last me the entire season. And it's like $5. Uh, especially the way that we set up for these small rainbows. Uh, wherever you are, it might be kind of the same deal. But instead of rainbow, you might be going after the small panfish or... I don't know what you call them, bluegills or whatever, right? So with that being said, you know, you don't need anything fancy. You don't need gulp or anything like that. You know, baby shrimp works perfectly fine. Uh, and if you don't have baby shrimp, there's always alternatives. Uh, miniature marshmallows, they work amazing. Uh, same thing with corn. You can go in and buy a, a can of no-name corn for... A dollar fifty or two dollars and fifty cents kind of a thing you take one kernel of corn put it onto your hook send it down the hole and uh, that's pretty well like the second best bait you can uh, you can use for the trout up here anyways when you go to the lake you either see pieces of shrimp on the ice or corn on the ice so it's one or the other and people uh, people use both and people catch fish with both so uh yeah don't get caught up in all of the hype and all the need to haves uh your main priority is well an auger at first and then a fishing line a couple of small hooks these ones are size uh size 8 i like to run size 10 they didn't have any so we had to get slightly bigger ones little thing of weights just to get your bait down uh, to the bottom and then just a simple little bobber because we are going to be setting up on a little stick so on the bobber it's it's just so you can actually see when you have a fish on otherwise your line just hangs straight down off your stick and we have a fish on it's pretty hard to actually see other than the line moving around so at least with the bobber you'll see the bobber go up and down so uh yeah if you're holding on to the stick Maybe you don't need a bobber. You can save yourself two dollars, but uh, you know it's it's two bucks, right? Uh, it's not that uh, not that much, and uh, it is pretty handy to have. But anyways, guys, this is part one of a two-part series. Uh, this is just the shopping side of things and the price breakdown. Uh, if you subscribe to the channel and come back for part two, we're going to be taking all of this gear out to the lake. And we're going to show you exactly how to set it up. And we're going to show you that it actually works. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it was informative enough for you. And uh, please, if you're just starting out or uh, just trying to save some money, uh, don't believe everything that people tell you. Uh, you don't need that extremely expensive gear. You don't need a ice fishing rod for these small little pan fish and stuff. You know, it... Uh, save some money it's Christmas time you know spend it on your loved ones or whatever and uh, you can still go out fishing but anyways guys I hope that uh, helped you out please subscribe to the channel come back for part two and I'll see you see you out there on the ice